Hey guys, Mermaid Treasure Hunter here and Kevin and I are going kayaking. There's our mailman. <laughs> he rides a red scooter. Okay, I got my new bimini top. I'll show it to you when I get down to the beach. And here we All right, go. you guys, so my new bimini top is made by Adventure Canopies. I think they're in North Carolina or South Carolina. I don't remember. I ordered it on Amazon and it came very quickly, very easy to install. And um, I just said to Kevin, good luck keeping up with me because it's going to act like a sale. And he said, you know, it's going to work both ways, right? <laughs> so we'll see. I will give you an honest to God review of how I think it is. It seems to be very nice quality. So let's go. All right, you guys, I am in my kayak and off we go. What a nice sunshade this is. My goodness. We're gonna go past all the fishermen. Looks like I can't tell if they're packing up for the day because the tide is now at full tide. It just came back in. Look how cool my kayak is. Isn't that cool? Hopefully we'll get to see some really cool corals and things today. Well, I know we will because I've done this kayak a million times. So uh, Kevin and I are going to paddle down to Tory Station, which is just not very far away. And they have a little restaurant on the beach. And we are going to have hamburgers and fries and a drink. We are just gonna paddle on down. And when I come across some very cool uh, corals, I will be sure and turn the camera on but isn't this cool so far let's see if I can make it so that you can actually see maybe I'll just do it like that oh that's cool hopefully we'll go over some pretty fish soon oh this is so nice with my bimini top and the sunshine is off me I love it I love it, love it. Oh, there's some coral. Oh, there was a big tridacna clam and some baby blue damsels. Fun. We're getting, we're coming on to some huge plate corals here in a minute. You guys are not going to believe these corals. Oh, there was an orange sponge, a bright orange sponge. We're really hungry. We haven't eaten yet today. Well, that's not true. This morning, like it, I don't know, five, six, I don't know what time it was. We had a bagel with cream cheese. <laughs> There's some other kayakers right there. They're right over there. How much fun. Everybody's having fun today. When I turned it off, we went over some amazing coral. So look, here's, oh, look at, there's a big coral. I have one of those in my tank. Oh, they're so pretty, 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 pretty. I have like a small version in my tank but they get big fast. Leather coral, I think is what they're called. I think this water is maybe six to 10 feet deep right here. I'm really a bad judge of distance, but I know I would be over my head right here. Oh, there's another leather coral, so pretty. you guys so we are just pulling up to Tory Station Beach looks like there's a line for our hamburger order looks like they have the swimming slide thing open which I didn't even know that it was open anymore so that's kind of exciting it's been there for years and I just never even knew that it was operational and I have done metal detecting at this beach before but it is so trashy you guys oh it is so trashy. All right, I'm going to get out and turn the camera back on in a minute. All right, we just had a really delightful, delightful hamburger and french fries and I had a Dr. Pepper. They didn't have root beer, which is my fave. So Dr. Pepper. So pretty today. So our house is way down there because that's where the, if you can see the port, you know, we live next to that port. There he is, ready to go. How come you don't have your umbrella up? Okay. 
All right. Such a fun little water slide. Such a fun little place. They have a scuba store right over there. They rent kayaks and stand-up paddle boards and all kinds of fun stuff. So this is really a fun beach to come to. All right, we are gonna get back in the boat and start heading our way home. I'm gonna go see what we can see. I'm gonna take you out a little bit further so we can see some of the really- All right, you guys, there's fish under us. There's coral under us. Pretty fish too. Hopefully you guys can see it. And we're gonna go deeper so that you can see just how pretty the corals get. And right now we're maybe about 10 feet deep. And um, definitely it would be over my head. When I'm out here by myself paddling, or not by myself, like when Kevin and I, I never come by myself. When I'm with Kevin and we're paddling, and this is the first time I've ever brought the GoPro, I see so much coral. There's a big plate coral. And like constantly, there's the air. Now we're kind of getting into it. And I just think it's so funny that today, all I want to show you guys is how cool the coral is and we're not seeing it, but now we're starting to get into it because we're getting deeper. Nice. Really pretty. Maybe we'll see a crown of thorns. Oh, look at the leather coral and all those plate corals. They're so pretty. All the sea slugs. Oh my goodness, look at all that. Ooh, so pretty, so pretty. Okay, you guys, just enjoy the coral. I'm gonna play music. I'm gonna I'm gonna be quiet and just play music. water down there <laughs> you know how I know because you can't see the bottom anymore that's where the big sharks come yeah I can now it just got dark for a minute because there was a cloud or something over me he doesn't like when I can't see the bottom because that's when sharks can come up underneath you oh my god look at that leather coral wow 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 these are so cool and pretty yeah, there's a ton of plate coral right here. Branch corals and leather corals. And I don't know if I've gone over any staghorns, but I was thinking, I'm hoping to see a sea snake and I'm hoping to see like a crown of thorns just so that they can see what it looks like. turtle wouldn't it or a shark a little shark which there's plenty of every time we would dive out here because we're scuba certified every time we would dive we would see sharks because they're out here you know you just get past the breakers and they're there all over the place it would be fun to see one I don't think I would want to see you know like a great white with his mouth open coming from below at me <laughs> I wouldn't want to see that but I wouldn't mind seeing one just casually swim by under me. That would be fun. Oh, 
I saw big fish. I see big fish. I saw like a raccoon butterfly, some kind of butterfly. Oh, there's a tang. Oh, there's a couple of tangs. Big. Oh, there was a biggie. Ooh, ah, there's big, big, big fish. Oh, we might see a shark right here. This is where I would usually see them is over big crevasses like this, big crevasse. Oh, come on. Wouldn't that be fun? Let's see if I can get back over that. Donahue landed. He was a battalion commander at the time. And his call sign was Blizzard 6. And he actually, um, I think it was the Battle of Sugarloaf. So this is 1945. And I want to say it was April. Uh, I have to look it up. I have a book with his name in it that has the, you know, where he was hit with shrapnel and it said blizzard six is down and um, that's what went over the radio and it didn't kill him he got a purple star and he was air lifted out to the hospital ship that was i think on this side of the island on the east china sea side and then uh, eventually made his way back to hawaii which is where my grandmother and my dad were during the war. They were stationed in Hawaii in my grandpa's ship. He was on the USS Portland, the Sporty Porty. So he got a Purple Heart right here in Okinawa and this is right where they landed. This right where you're looking. That's why I find so many bullets and things right here when I'm metal detecting underwater. But isn't that cool down there? I love the ocean.
barely making any way headway at all. But I'm not sunburned and I'm not hot. I have nice cool. It, I feel nice and cool from having this bimmy top on my head. I love that. Dad, a honeybee, he was in the water and I picked him up and saved him. No, he's right on the tip of my kayak. See him right there on the tip of my kayak? Right there. Hopefully the camera can see that. <laughs> oh, my, my battery's getting low. I hope he stays on my kayak and doesn't get back in the water. Okay, we finally made it back to our beach. I got my bee got back in the water and I got him back out. <laughs> Kevin's already on the land. I am getting ready to get on the land. I gotta go put my honeybee in a tree so that he can survive. All right. That was such a fun kayak trip, you guys. And look at what we're dealing with. We've, de we've been dealing with this all week long. It's already Saturday, one week from that kayak trip that we took. Uh, and we had a typhoon come 100 miles south of our island, and it's almost to Taiwan right now, and we're still getting the effects of it. Our weather has just been crazy all week, but you guys, thank you so much for coming on our kayak trip with us, and I will see you on the next hunt. Hopefully, this storm is going to go by, and I'll be able to get out and do some hunting soon.